Hello everyone, this video is for you. It's a daily video that tells you what zone we're in, what basic weekly plan we're working on, and reminds you of your routines. Take a look, you'll see that these three things are here. Um, there may be some other things in there that may or may not relate to the time of year, but that's okay. Enjoy. Hello Fly Babies, it's me, your Fly Lady Cat, and I'm here today to give you peace in your life, control in your home, and to help you learn how to finally love yourself. Today is Friday and we have a three layer cake. First layer, basic routines. Second layer, basic weekly plan. Third layer, zone. So it's just three things to do. First thing is the routines. So first thing in the morning, you're gonna do your morning routine before your children if you have any, and then put your children through their routines. Now do not make these routines harder than they need to be. If you need a refresher, go back last, um, let's see, go back two months, go back to uh, uh, July. And we talk about the morning routine almost every day in those videos. If you need um, a different refresher, you can, or, or maybe you need the whole thing refreshed, go watch the uh, How to Do the Fly Lady System for Newbies video. Or if you've never watched that, I encourage you to watch that first before you start trying to practice this Fly Lady System with me. Okay, next thing is the... Uh, if you're going to work, then you, if you're leaving the home or working in the home, it's time to let the house go and go to your job and focus on what you're getting paid to do, okay? Now, on your lunches and your breaks, those are your times. That's when you can do things that you need to do, like call a family. Um, maybe you've got something that you've delegated to a child um, that you're going to remember to call them on your last break when they're home from school to say, don't forget to do that. I'm going to check that when I get home. Uh, the other thing that you might consider doing is your basic weekly plan on your lunch hour. So on Friday, the basic weekly plan is car and purse day. So empty, don't empty your purse out on the desk uh, or, or on your desk or on the, the break room table. That's not, that's not good. <laughs> Just dig in there and get the stuff out and throw it away on your, on your personal time. And then you can go take a garbage bag or a, a Walmart bag or whatever to your car and get anything out that needs to go or anything that needs to be collected together to take out of the car when you get home. Put that in the car and leave it in there so when you get home you can take it out. And then really start to practice the reminder of when you take the car out of the key out of the ignition or you turn your ignition off however you do it um, that's your reminder to look around and to pick up anything that you brought in the car with you and to get your passengers to do the same even if they're two years old okay next um, we're going to do our if you're at home you're going to do your laundry and your one inch of paper first thing in the morning if you're working you're going to do that after you get home and you start supper and get that on a simmer or a hold. Then you're gonna start your laundry, go through an inch of paper. Um, and then you're going to do the zone. So if you're at home, you're gonna get try to get your zone done in the morning. We're in zone two, which is the kitchen. And remember just you're gonna do one of the four things that you've picked out to do this week, or you're going to declutter if you still have clutter in there for 15 minutes. And you're gonna complete the process by putting away, throwing away, and giving away because those are the three areas that you're going to sort into. Um, again, if any of this sounds foreign to you, you have to watch that video, How to Do the Fly Lady System for Newbies, to know what I'm really talking about, okay? All right, because I don't want you to make it harder than it is. And I know I've already said that once in this video, but it, it seems to be a theme. People think this needs to be hard. It's not hard. It's really not hard. So don't make it harder than it needs to be, so you can focus on your family. Now, is it easy? Probably not, especially if you have to declutter. Decluttering is the hardest thing you'll ever do. And it's just emotionally hard, it's not physically hard. That's why I only want you to do it for 15 minutes and then stop. The other thing that's really important is that you declutter three times a day. Sometime in the morning, sometime in the afternoon, and sometime right before bed. So that all the new mindless clutter that's happened that day gets put away. Don't get mad, don't take it personally, and we're not talking about old clutter, we're talking about new clutter. The areas that you've recently decluttered will be the most, most vulnerable because that has been your ha bad habit area. And remember that clutter is like a magnet and all new clutter will be attracted to your old clutter. So the sooner you get it decluttered, the better, but I don't want you to overwork yourself. Okay, and then I want you to remember that um, after you've done these things, so if you're at home, you're gonna get this stuff done in the morning. If you're a payroll, you're gonna get it done when you get home from work. So when you've got your dinner cooked, you're gonna get this done really quickly. Now, if you still have a weekly home blessing that you have not been able to delegate, then you're gonna do that on Saturday or your off day. 
and hopefully you can delegate it with your you know two parts of your family so that you're doing it and they're doing it and you guys can knock it out really quickly remember it's not about perfection it's just about blessing the home okay and therefore blessing your family um, that's it, and then we've got our before bed routine. So that's it, we've got our three, our five routines, we've got our basic weekly plan, which is car and purse day, and we've got our zone, and that's getting done today. Now if you have an irregular schedule, or the kids have lots of extracurricular, huh, say that one, curricular activities, then you're gonna use your planner, and you're gonna use your mind, your brilliant mind, and you're gonna say, okay, these are the hours that I have available. What can I get done? Don't make it more complicated than it has to be. Now that's the third time I've said that, so hopefully that's sinking in, okay? All right, uh, also remember that today is Friday, so it is date night, and it is time to have really good time with your husband, just really good quality time. You don't have to do anything you know, fancy, uh, but you have to do something that's fun that you both enjoy together without children, okay? All right, that's it for today. I hope you have a fabulous day, a wonderful Friday, and always remember that you are beautiful. Bye. I hope you enjoyed that, and I know that you're going to have a great time in your house today. Remember to focus on getting it done first, fast, make it fun, and get it finished. Complete the process, and don't let those little things bug you that you see that are for future dates. Use your planner, and always remember that you are beautiful.